Okay, in this example, we're going to be solving some trig equations using the symmetry property and the periodic property. So I'm going to solve the three equations you can see on the screen right now. And then after that, I've got three equations for you to have a go at for yourself. In part A, we're going to solve the equation sine x equals negative one third between naught and 360. To find the first solution, we simply do inverse sine of negative one third. And if we do that, we get x equals minus 19.47. Notice that this solution is not within the region 0 to 360. And so this won't be included in our final answer, but we are going to use it to help us find the other solutions. Before we go on to do any more calculations, it might be helpful to store this value in our calculator. So I'm going to store it as a. Next up, I'm going to apply the symmetry property. The symmetry property for sine says we take our first solution and we subtract it from 180. So we're going to do 180 subtract a, which is stored in our calculator. And that gives us 199.4 degrees. Notice that with each of these answers I'm writing down, so that I can give my final answers to three significant figures. I've kept four significant figures so that I can round appropriately. Next up, we're going to use the periodic property to find a third solution. Now we know that most of the time between zero and 360, an equation of this form sine x equals a constant will have two solutions. So we need to look for a third solution here because we're not going to include the minus 19.47. What we're going to do is take the one that's outside of our region, minus 19.47, and we're going to use the periodic property by adding 360 degrees to that. So as that's already stored as A in our calculator, we just do A plus 360 degrees, and that gives us 340.5. Let's annotate these solutions so we know where they came from. The first solution we got using the symmetry property. And the second solution, we got using the periodic property, which says that to get another solution, we do our original solution plus or minus 360 degrees. Finally, we'll round the answer to an appropriate degree of accuracy, and we'll also eliminate the solution that we don't want. So our final line of working out is x equals 199 degrees, and 341 degrees rounded to three significant figures. In part B, we have cos x equals 0 0.7, where x is greater than 0 but less than 720 degrees. To find our first solution, we do inverse cos of 0 0.7. And that gives us x equals 45.6 degrees. As we're going to use it more than once, we'll store the value in our calculator as A. Next, we'll use the symmetry property for cosine. So we'll take our first solution and subtract it from 360. That gives us 314 to 3 sig fig. Then to get further solutions between zero and 720, we're going to add 360 to both of these solutions. I'll just quickly store the 314 in my calculator so that I can come back to it. And then I'm going to do A plus 360. That gives me 406 degrees to 3 sig fig. And I'll do B plus 360. That gives me 674 degrees to 3 sig fig. So we get four solutions in the region specified. Let's just annotate where these solutions came from. After using our calculator for the first one, we use the symmetry property. And then after that, we went back to the first solution and we added 360 degrees to it. So we were using the periodic property. And then we went back to our second solution, which we got using the symmetry property and added 360 to that one as well. So once again, using the periodic property. So in this case, we use the symmetry property first, and then we use the periodic property on each of those two solutions to get two further solutions. 
In part C, we're solving tan x equals 0 0.5, where x is greater than negative 180, but less than 180 degrees. First of all, we'll do inverse tan of 0 0.5 on our calculator. That gives us x equals 26.6 if we round to three significant figures. To get our second solution, we use the periodic property for tan, which says we can take our first solution and add or subtract multiples of 180 degrees to get further solutions. If we were to add 180 degrees to this, we'd be outside of the region because it's greater than 180. But if we subtract 180 degrees, we get negative 153 if we round to three significant figures. Okay, here are some problems for you to have a go at for yourself then. Pause the video and then come back and check your solutions against mine. Welcome back. I'll show you the solutions for all three first and then I'll go through how I got them. So for part A, here's the solution. Here's the solution for part B. And here's the solution for part C. Well done if you got them right. If not, I'm going to go through my solutions now. In part A, we're solving tan x equals negative 5 between negative 360 and 360 degrees. First of all, we'll do inverse tan of negative 5 on our calculator. That gives us x equals minus 78.7 degrees to 3 sig fig. From here, we can use the periodic property to add or subtract multiples of 180 from this. Let's first subtract 180 degrees. That gets us to minus 259 degrees. Then we'll go back to our original solution and we'll add 180 degrees. That gets us to 101 degrees. And then we'll take the 101 degrees and we'll add another 180 onto that. And we'll get another solution at 281 degrees. So after the first solution from our calculator, we added multiples of 180 to get the remaining three solutions in the stated region. In part B, we're solving sine x equals two fifths between zero and 720 degrees. As always, we find our first solution by doing inverse sine. So inverse sine of two fifths gives us x equals 23.6 rounded to three sig fig. We'll store that value in our calculator because we're gonna need it more than once. And then we'll use the symmetry property to find the second solution. So we do 180 minus our first solution. So three sig fig, that gives us 156 degrees. Then we'll take the first solution and we're going to add 360 degrees onto that, which gives us 384 to three sig fig. Then we'll take the second solution and we'll add 360 degrees to that as well. And that gives us 516 to 3 sig fig. In part C, we have cos x equals negative 0 0.1 between negative 360 and 360. Using our calculator, we can do inverse cos of negative 0 0.1. That gives us x equals 95.7 degrees. Then we need to use the symmetry property for cos. One way of doing that is to do 360 minus the first solution. However, because my region is symmetrical about the origin, minus 360 to 360, I'm instead going to use the other symmetry property, which tells me that my second solution is equal to the negative of my first solution, which tells me I can use minus 95.7. Next, I'll use the periodic property twice. I'm going to take my first solution, 95.7, and I'm going to subtract 360 from it. That gets me to minus 264 if I round to three sig fig. And then I'm going to take my second solution and I'm going to add 360 to it. And that gives me 264 to three sig fig. Now, although here I used the symmetry property of cos theta equals negative cos theta, I could just as easily have used 360 minus the first solution. That would have gotten me to 264. 
after which I could have subtracted 360, which would have got me back to the minus 95.7. So often with these kind of questions, there's more than one way of approaching it that's perfectly correct.